Hello and welcome to the channel. In this video we'll be taking an introductory look at the Amazon EC2 instance types, uh, specifically looking at the different instance families that exist and how they differ from one another. Now this is another video taken from my course focused on the AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner exam. Uh, if you like what you see here and uh, want to learn more about uh, AWS or perhaps start your own uh, cloud certification journey, uh, check out the full course and lab options available at cloudvikings.io and you'll be well on your way to building new skills and passing those cloud exams with ease. All right, let's jump into exploring the Amazon EC2 instance type families. Welcome back. In this lesson, we'll be exploring the Amazon EC2 instance types a bit. Now, the uh, Cloud Practitioner exam scope here is more focused on knowing just the higher level uh, instance types families at this point. So what do I mean by instance families? Well, these are just the different uh, groupings or categories of the hundreds of different instance type variations available to us as AWS customers. Okay, but let's back this up a bit here. Why would I even want different instance types? For an example, let's say you need to buy uh, a vehicle. Well, everyone has different criteria for what they want out of that vehicle and provide them the best value. It needs to perform its purpose, but we want to avoid wasting money on something that isn't, uh, you know, the best choice based on our requirements. For some folks, a bicycle may be a great option, uh, cheap, convenient, uh, efficient, or perhaps you have a family and need some type of family sedan, or perhaps the kids, uh, you know, are all hockey goalies and, you know, you frequently do these long road trips and need, uh, you know, lots of storage space for all that gear. You always have, uh, you know, stuff that just won't fit into the trunk of a, you know, typical car. So perhaps you look at some form of uh, SUV for your needs, or perhaps someone in the family has a uh, construction business uh, and they're constantly hauling around tools, uh, landscaping supplies, or perhaps pulling large trailers. In this case, uh, you know, a pickup truck may be the best solution here. Now there's of course a variety of trade-offs with these different types of vehicles. Uh, the big ones being around uh, cost and efficiency. Then if we take this example to uh, extremes a bit, uh, think of a transport truck or something like a F1 race car. These are very purpose-built vehicles to do a specific job. They're not great general purpose vehicles. Uh, an F1 car can seat uh, one person uh, and it's designed for speed and, you know, highly tuned for specific race circuits. Uh, you know, it's extremely expensive to buy uh, and maintain, but, you know, it's purpose-built to win F1 races. So just like this vehicle example, AWS offers us hundreds of variations of these virtual instances that we can choose from to meet our specific workload requirements. Now we can think about these general instance type families as the class of vehicle, uh, you know, the family sedans, uh, sports cars, uh, the SUVs, the pickup trucks, the race cars. Now within each category here, we have a lot of variations to help even further pick the right instance types or vehicle in our example uh, for our needs. So within these vehicle categories, we have a number of different manufacturers and models of vehicles. Then of those, they're often offered in a number of configurations with, uh, you know, different engines, uh, wheels, features, and even colors. And that's exactly like these instance types. We can say, uh, you know, we need to pick a general purpose category of instance types where we need that uh, simple balance of compute, uh, memory, storage, and network performance. Uh, then from within that category, we can tune further by, you know, whatever our criteria is. Uh, do we need a, you know, four-cylinder engine vehicle or do we need that turbocharged V8? Or perhaps our workload is very uh, compute intensive and, you know, we pick something from, you know, that sports car category. We have a higher bias for compute capacity compared to memory requirements for our workload. So maybe we pick that uh, Porsche 911 GT3 RS. Anyways, we'll go over the instance types families in a moment here, but I hope this helps understand the need for all these different instance types by AWS customers. You know, everyone's workload and application requirements are unique, and this amount of choice allows us to pick the you know, best fit for those requirements so we can maximize our performance while keeping our costs as low as possible. Okay, so let's jump over to the AWS documentation about these instance types. All right, so this is the Amazon EC2 instance type documentation page here. Where there's tons of information about the different uh, instance types and uh, all the variations of them. Now, what I want to draw your attention to here is just over on the left, all these instance uh, families or categories here. We have your uh, you know, general purpose category, the compute optimized, 
memory optimized, accelerated computing, and storage optimized. Now this uh, general purpose category here is already expanded for us. And we can see within each category here all these different uh, you know, flavors of instance types within that category. Now I guess we could say these are all the different uh, you know, makes and models of uh, different vehicles within this category. And we're not going to get too in-depth with all these instance types for the scope of the cloud practitioner exam here. But let's take a look at some of these categories and what's inside. So again, starting with this general purpose category here, uh, you can see sort of the breakdown of the different types of uh, processors that are in here um, and all the different instance sizes and the breakdown of the CPU configuration compared to the uh, you know, memory configuration. So if we take a look at this uh, first one here, the M6i.large, we see that it has two uh, virtual CPUs or vCPUs and eight gigabytes of memory for that option. Now in comparison, if we take a look here at the uh, compute optimized instances, if we look at this uh, C6i.large, this one has uh, two vCPUs and four gigabytes of memory. So in this compute optimized category, the ratio of the uh, CPUs compared to the memory is a lot higher on the uh, CPU side. So for this uh, C6i instance type example that exists in the compute optimized category, we can see that the memory here is essentially uh, double what the uh, CPU specs are. Now if you go back and compare that with these general purpose instance types, we see a different ratio of the CPU and memory. So looking at this M6i example here in the general purpose category, we can see we have this like four to one ratio of the uh, memory to vCPU. So for the examples that we were just looking at, in the general purpose category, we have that four to one ratio of memory to vCPU. And in this compute optimized category here again, we had sort of that uh, two to one ratio. Now, if we take a look at the memory optimized category here, we'll pick the uh, R6i instance as an example. Now we can see the ratios change again. In this category, we're typically getting that uh, 8 to 1 ratio of uh, you know, memory to uh, CPU. So these types of instances belonging to the memory optimized family would certainly be a better fit if your workload requires high memory requirements compared to compute capacity. Now for fun, if we take a look at the uh, accelerated computing category, we'll look at this uh, P4 example here. And we can see in this case, we have uh, a new category of GPUs, where this instance type actually has eight of those, 96 vCPUs, and 1,152 gigabytes of memory. I hope it's clear that this example here is a you know, highly specialized use case for machine learning and high-performance computing, and likely not a great fit for your uh, general purpose web hosting types of applications. Now, I recommend you uh, go through these instance types families and just get familiar with them a bit further. Uh, you can also check out uh, this other page here um, in the documentation that goes into a bit more details about the different sizes and instance types. And that concludes our overview here on the Amazon EC2 instance families. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next lesson.